I saw a report on the internet that said if you feed a plant water that has been microwaved to boiling point and then cooled, uh, the plant will die after about nine days. Whereas if you feed a plant water that has been boiled um, using a kettle and then cooled, the plant will be fine. So because I have two babies, I thought, well, I better do my own experiment because I don't know whether that's true. And if it is true, I don't really want to feed my babies or anybody else anything if it's dangerous. Um, so I did my own experiment. I bought two basil plants from the same shop on the same day and I fed them with the respective water. I gave them the same amount, um, about 100 millilitres a day, um, apart from one day when I went to Manchester and I, they didn't get anything but they got the same amount all the time. Um, and I took video footage and photographs, so uh, this is my experiment. Well, one thing I've noticed is it takes a lot to boil water in a microwave. It's had six minutes, let's give it another six. And here's our plants, this is day one, two basil plants looking exactly the same. And so this one is going to have microwaved all the taps in the way. That's going to be microwave boiled water and that's going to be... Uh, it's day two and these are both the plants, they've had 100 millilitres of their respective water. Water's on the so that's your microwave boiled water, and that's your kettle boiled water. And I have done it very uh, what's the word accurately with these, which are little five mil measuring sticks. So throughout the day, they've had 100 mils of water, and they're both looking super duper healthy at the moment. It's day four, and somebody threw away my microwaved boiled water so I'm having to do some more and yesterday day three we were away so they got nothing and we've come back and this is what they look like a bit wilted it's been very very hot however let's have a look whoops that's the microwave boiled one and this is the kettle boiled one oh interesting the kettle boiled one looks miles better then the microwave boiled one. Can you actually see that? And there's the little label. Microwave boiled water. The boiled water. And that plant looks really healthy. And this plant really doesn't. Now I'm very surprised. We shall carry on with the experiment. So it's day six. But um, as you can see, they both look phenomenally healthy. And they've had, here are my, um, how much they've had. So microwave on the left and kettle on the right. Boiled water and they've had pretty much 100 millilitres every day. Apart from Saturday when we weren't here. And they look fantastic, the pair of them. Yesterday I thought I had finished the experiment because I'd done a week. But actually it turns out you have to do nine days because that's what the original girl did apparently. Um, and after nine days the plant was dead. So this is day eight, and they're both really super healthy. <laughs> I've never known basil plants last this long, actually. So today is really the last day of the experiment. It's day nine. See how healthy they are. The microwaved one, and the kettle boiled one. Beautiful. So you can draw your own conclusions. I'm not saying it's safe <laughs> to eat microwaved food, I'm just saying my plants don't seem to mind. And there we go.